Uh, my name is Trent Gregory. Uh, my major is Natural Resource Management, and I'm currently specializing in Natural Resource Administration and Management. Um, my name is Nezio O'Malley, and my major is Natural Resource Management. And I actually don't have a specialization because I am doing the Honors Research Track, so I'm doing a thesis in Environmental Education. Um, I thought it suited me pretty well. I started out environmental science and quickly learned it just wasn't for me. I wanted to do more of the education and policy side of natural resource. Um, I just felt like that major combined both of them really well and met my needs. Well, I chose natural resource management because I wanted a major that mixed both the social sciences and natural sciences and I started off in environmental science and I realized that that didn't have enough of that social science for me um, and then specifically Ohio State because I had the opportunity to um, take some classes here in my senior year of high school and while at first I was scared of being in a big school I realized that I actually really loved all of my classes and my professors and that I could totally see myself spending the next four years here. I'd probably either say ENR 3612, uh, the environmental education class, um, just because it kind of sparked that interest in environmental education I've kind of pursued through my time here. Uh, Dr. Heck, who teaches it, is also super knowledgeable with everything uh, when it comes to environmental education. Uh, or I'm currently doing uh, fish taxonomy and behaviors, and I've really loved that class because it's more hands-on. Uh, we get to go out into different streams around uh, Columbus and get to electrofish, same for fish, and just ID fish out in the river. Yeah, so I think definitely my favorite class um, was Intro to Environmental Education um, with Dr. Marika Hecht because that class we learned how so much about being like an informal educator so in the parks or um, you know any other atmospheres where learning is taking place um, that isn't necessarily a school classroom and we learned how to do that through doing different activities learning activities ourselves um, as students and sharing in that learning with each other um, rather than prioritizing like as a teacher having the knowledge as like a knowledge bank and trying to put that onto students and so yeah it was a fun class and I learned a lot and I'm really excited I'm going to take another environmental ed class at the wetlands next semester so who knows maybe that'll top the intro class. Um, I either hope to pursue some role in environmental education, uh, whether that be like a natura naturalist or more like professional role um, as a teacher uh, or pursue a master's in GIS. Yeah, so honestly right now, I'm not entirely sure. I know that I want to do something in environmental education and specifically in formal ed, so not in a classroom setting. But for example, next summer, uh, I plan to return to the regenerative farm that I worked on last summer, but this time as an educator. And so in the spring, I'll be developing programs for middle school and high school students that come visit the farm. Um, and then in the summer, I will be implementing those programs um, for those students. So I think that will give me a little bit more direction if that is the kind of direction I want to go or I am currently involved in research. So I might want to continue with that into grad school. Um, you'll probably hear this a lot, but put yourself out there. Uh, coming from someone that graduated with 20 people, uh, OSU is a huge change from most high schools. Uh, so you just have to be willing to take that first step to put yourself out there, get involved, and from there you'll start making those connections really early on that will give you opportunities as you continue through uh, your major here. Well, I would definitely advise if you are someone who, you know, you don't know if you want to do environmental science or environmental studies, which are 
environmental programs that most schools have. And you have like so many different ideas, but you know, you want to do something in the environmental field. I would definitely recommend coming to SCNR at Ohio State because you have so many different options and directions you could go in. And with that, if you do decide to come to, to SCNR, I recommend keeping an open mind because you might come in thinking, oh, I totally want to focus on, um, you know, animal sciences. And so you want to do fisheries, um, forestry, fisheries and wildlife. But you might discover that you're actually really interested in more of the social sciences side. So I just would recommend keeping an open mind as you come in because there are so many different opportunities.